Hey friends, I'm Stacy. And I'm Kevin. And right now we are working on a cargo camper conversion build and it has been so much fun and we are on the home stretch. We have done the electrical, we have done everything, we've gutted everything and started from the from the bare bones. And now we just finished the shelving in here and we are going to start working on a bench. And the bench is designed to not only be a place for storage, but also in the future to house batteries for the solar system that will go in. Uh, we've pre-engineered some things so that we can add uh, solar in later and without having a big difficult job doing it. For links to all of the tools we used and products that we use, for step-by-step -step instructions, tips and tricks and more, you can visit our website at www.bfreebenson.com. And just in case you didn't catch that, it'll be in the description below. The first step is to determine the height and the width. And we have done that. We're gonna go with 19 inches height and the width is gonna be 15 inches. So now we need to go ahead and create the base of the bench. But we're gonna go ahead and staple the first board for the frame on the bottom of the bench right onto the floor. I'm going to put some additional screws in here. We stapled this, but I'm going to put about four or five screws across just to secure it to the floor uh, more securely. So the next step is we are going to put the legs across the back of the bench. So now that we have the legs in the bench, we're now going to put the back of the top of the bench in. And we used a two by four because we feel like we need some extra security and some extra stability there because we're going to hinge the lid. So we've got the two by four, we're ready to go and we're going to actually screw this into the wall. All right, so when we cut this top board, we have this E-track coming out. So rather than take the E-track off and cut the E-track, we just notched out the, uh, the two by four to go around it. So our next step is to go ahead and put the legs on the front of the bench. And we have to account for the plywood being on top and for the different size of the wood on the back of the bench versus the front with the two by four versus the furring strip. So that's our next step. On the front legs, we're actually having to use brackets to secure it to the wood because this wood right here is already secured down to the floor. Now that we have our legs on the front, we're ready to put the plywood on the front. So we're going to measure across and our plywood is going to be 57 and a half by 18 and a half? 18 and 5 eighths. 18 and 5 eighths. So the next step is to go ahead and cut the top for the bench. And we have to have a stationary piece here and a stationary piece here because these ends, if we hinged it, it would hit the bed and it would hit the cabinet. So we'll have three inches in on each end where we will have a stationary top and then the rest of the top will hinge. Okay, so uh, to, to finish off the box, we basically just uh, put in some three inch spacers on, on each end so that this would have, the top would have room to open and close. And we put a hole in there so you can grab it. We just need to get um, a cushion for the top and we are ready to roll. We put a piece of uh, trim across the front here so that it butts right up against the front and then we have the cushion to go on there. And we're also going to put a piece of trim across the back as well. We're putting the last piece of trim on the back of the cushion or the back of the thing, bench. the bench. our top which we thought about doing a hinge but because of the way that this sits and everything it doesn't even need one it's so perfect and now why was her butt the first one to touch it and not mine I'll tell you why because <laughs> I built it that's why <laughs> well her butt sat and made food. All right, so now we are ready to go ahead and put the tongue oil on. We have a choice between painting or tongue oil. 
<laughs> she never wants to paint. I never want to do tongue oil either. What does she want to do? <laughs> Get it going. Nothing. <laughs> The bench is finished. We are waiting on the cushion to come on the top, but it looks fabulous. The bench turned out really nice and there's lots of space inside to store things and it keeps the electric safe. So we're really excited about the bench. Another project success. For more videos like this, you can click on the video on the screen or you can go to our channel and click on one of the playlists. For a list of tools that we use, step-by-step -step instruction and tips and tricks and more, go to our website at www.befreebenson.com. And just in case you forget that web address, the link will be in the description below. If you found value in this video, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. As always, doing things yourself saves you money. This would have cost us a whole lot more had we not done it ourselves. Do it yourself, save some money, and be free. See you in the next video. First step is to determine the height of the bench and the width of the bench. <laughs> <laughs> and the height of your husband and the width of his nose. I don't think these are waterproof. <laughs> no, they're not. Ah!